hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel another day another scholarship so today we'll be going to the netherlands and looking at um, masters scholarships in the netherlands and um, one of the most popular scholarship in the netherlands is the holland scholarship or the OKP scholarship. So we wouldn't be looking at that today. That's not the focus today. Rather, we'll be going to hidden departmental university scholarships that are just as generous, just as um, good, just as prestigious as the popular um, Holland scholarship or the OKP scholarship. So, but when the Holland scholarship opens, I'm also going to talk about it as well, by the way. So let us just look at these ones for now. And um, so you start preparing for them. And these are annual scholarships. So you can always plan them in your calendar. You could always time them and plan ahead of time. Most of those who get scholarships are those who plan ahead, not those who start applying um, a month before or two weeks before. But often those with four sites, those who start applying three, four months before and start getting things together before the official deadline. So first we'll be looking at the University of Groningen. University of Groningen in the Netherlands, one of the old famous universities in the country. So this is the Enric Blaumick Fund. Enric Blaumick Fund at the University of Groningen and it's for masters, different masters courses. Very soon we'll be looking at the different varieties of masters courses in the university. And um, the eligible countries are numerous. Here I can see countries in the Middle East, countries in Sub-Saharan Africa, um, countries in North Africa, countries in um, the Caribbean as well, number of countries in Asia as well. So there are different countries here. I can see Nigeria here. I know about 30% of my viewers are from Nigeria. I can see um, Senegal here. I can see Nepal here. So Haiti, depending on where you're coming from, I'm sure if you check closely, you might just find your country on this list because it's a very um, long list, I must say. So what does this scholarship cover? It's actually a fully funded scholarship, a fully funded master's scholarship. So it covers either your one year or two year master's um, program. So some master's programs are um, one-year program or you might have a, a two-year program so depending on the program you get into and it covers full tuition cost of international travel subsistence that's the, like living allowance books health insurance so this is like a holistic all-inclusive scholarship you do not want to miss and let's quickly look at the eligible master's courses quickly look at the eligible master's courses for this scholarship. So you apply for the master's course and they often want a good result and a good result is often, it's a bit relative, but usually a first class or a high 2-1. There's an A or a B at the end of the day. So they also talked about excellent English proficiency. So here you might actually check the course and see if they ask for a particular English test like the TOEFL or the IELTS or if they will accept um, a letter of English proficiency from your university or if they would waive the English language requirements for you because you studied in English. So I'm telling you about the scholarship ahead of time. The deadline of the scholarship is actually in December but I'm telling you now in um, July so you can make all these findings. You could send an email to the university asking about things like the English requirements, for instance. Are they ready to give waivers or must you take a test? So this is one of the reasons why you need to start on time and clarify all these things before the deadline. So when you start sending an email two weeks to the deadline or a month to the deadline, they might be getting too many emails already and they might not be able to answer you on time to clarify these issues. So it's good you start sending out inquiries now about things like English tests, even things like, uh, um, what do they call it, 
if there's anything like an application fee you could always start asking now how you can get a waiver or how you can save towards it so as i said the deadline is first of december for some people this is far away but from the smart ones for the industrious ones they start working immediately so let's go to the different master's courses so there are different courses here you can see accounting applied physics they're actually arranged and alphabetically and this is a very long list i must say very long list i've checked it on my own and i've seen lots of courses in the practical sciences social sciences humanities arts law so it doesn't matter where you're coming from you'll likely find something here that aligns with your interest and focus. Here I can already see philosophy, politics, and economics. There's um, pharmacy, there's physics, there's animal science. So check closely, you find something that suits you. And remember, all these courses are eligible for the scholarship. All these courses are eligible for the scholarship. Remember, as the notice um, says here, that all programs, all programs, MSC, MA, and LLM are eligible for the program. So we've seen the requirements already, a good result. As we said, either a first class or a 2 one, good academic performance, um, confirmed by your recommendation letters. Um, excellent grades from your university um, have excellent command of the English language. You talked about that already. Available to begin the program by um, the next intake. And the other things about um, good health, probably though you have to sign an, an, um, an information form about your health. Some, some scholarships actually do that. They tell you to do a quick test, probably things like um, hepatitis and the rest of them, before you're finally given the fund. And you should have no true means of financing your studies apart from the scholarship so it's targeted to intelligent students but those who do not have enough financial resources to um finance their studies so that is it with this particular school this particular school and as we said the application deadline is the first of december you could always read the other kinds of um, information here but we have other schools as well other schools in the netherlands as well so we have um, TU Delft. This is a science, practical science oriented university. So sorry if you're in the social sciences, you might not find the course that suits you here. This um, TU Delft is more of the practical sciences and probably engineering technology kind of courses. And um, they have not updated their site for this year or the next intake. So you still see here, the deadline is December 1st, 2020. What is it? It's a yearly scholarship. So when the site is updated, hopefully the deadline will be the 1st of December 2021, just as we saw in our initial scholarship, the Eric Blaume Scholarship at the um, University of Groningen. So they have similar deadline, 1st of um, December. So it's an annual scholarship, although this has not been updated yet. And it gives you a breakdown of what it's going to cover as well. So for international students, you can see 30,000 euros per year for international students. And that is quite enough for living cost and tuition fees. And it's even said here, full tuition costs and contribution to living um, expenses as well. So when the this um, um, scholarship opens, I would likely talk about it, is the Justice Louise Van Helfen Scholarship at MTU Delft also in the Netherlands. But I'll put a link below so you could always check and see when it is open. I think I did something on this scholarship as well sometime last year and I talked in details about the application form and how to write the essays. So if you're interested, check the previous video or the video I did last year on applications in the Netherlands and I talked in details about this scholarship. But now I'm just giving you a quick review, watering your appetite on scholarships to come so you start planning for it. And I have a third scholarship for you today, and it's at the University of Wageningen. University of Wageningen 
in the Netherlands. The W, by the way, is pronounced as V. I also said this in the previous video. In German and in Dutch, the W is pronounced as V. So it's Wageningen University of Research, University and Research Institute. So there are a number of scholarships here actually at the Wageningen University. So as a matter of fact, two ladies from this um, YouTube channel recently got two fully funded scholarships um, at this university. So check here, you might just find something that suits you. So there are several fully funded scholarships here, whether you're from Africa or outside Africa. They particularly got this scholarship meant for African applicants. If I have the letter they sent to me, I think I'll put a screenshot of the of their letter of award and share it with you to see how real it is, how people how people are actually taking advantage of these um, opportunities. So they got in this year and they'll be resuming, I think, in August or September um, at the University of Wageningen. So it covers full tuition, covers um, living allowance, covers travel costs. So there are several numerous scholarships here at this university and take advantage look around look for the program look for the eligibility criteria the aim of this video is just to water your appetite to tell you what is to come so you start planning you put this in your diary write down what you need to do to watch this um, scholarship so what's this um, scholarship this scholarship by the way the deadline is also annual and annual scholarship but the deadline is um early January next year. Again, people might say this is very far away, I can relax, but be careful. Do not over relax because um, you might um, wake up when you're just a few weeks away from the deadline. So it is important to start preparing and gathering resources together. Start mapping out scholarships that you're eligible for. Check the requirements if you have them already or if you can save towards the requirements in case you need to take a test, in case you need to pay application fees. So it is now you start determining your roadmap for scholarships you should have a spreadsheet a notebook or take mental notes of the scholarships you'll be applying for and that is it guys we started from the eric blaumick scholarship at the university of um, groningen and we looked at um tu deft the justice Louis van elfen scholarships also fully funded and we looked at the scholarship opportunities as well they are numerous we can't talk about all of them um, today, but there are numerous scholarships with similar application and um, requirements as well. So we don't need to start repeating ourselves. But there's lots of scholarship both for EU and non-EU um, candidates. So take a look at them and check for your country eligibility. Take a look at them and start preparing. Do not wait till a month to the scholarship and start running about and asking questions. Start asking questions now. Start sending emails to the universities to clarify where there are confusions. And that is it, guys. I hope this was helpful. Leave me a comment. Leave me a question. Um, if you've not subscribed already, please do so. And um, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now. See you at the top.